Okay, so here we are, back in the boat. Took the tape off the non-skid, and again, that's where the cooler is going to get strapped down to, and a little bit of non-skid on the seats to step onto the boat. Last thing to do, I mean, the boat hull is basically done, but I need to do the rigging, so... I've got this control cable here for the steering, so I've got to route that, drill some holes, and then I'll probably have to uh, epoxy coat those inside of those holes so I don't get water uh, damage, and route that back to the stern here. It's going to go through, uh, there'll be holes right there, right there, and then there's one up behind that box, it goes underneath the seat. And then it'll enter right about here in the corner and then come up towards the uh, steering wheel. Okay. Then I've got two cables that are going to go from uh, this box, which will get attached onto the side of this steering uh, or throttle control box that I installed here. And then I'm going to route those kind of down along here and uh, to the back. And I did order the wrong one, but I sent them back. Hopefully I'm going to get my money back on those. Uh, and I, the company that I ordered from didn't have the right length in stock that I needed. And so I ended up ordering them on eBay. Uh, looks like they came all the way from Japan. And uh, got those already, even though they said they weren't going to be here till the 24th to the 31st of March. Anywho, uh, let's see if we can't drill some holes on this boat. Looks like I need to change the angle of this so that the entry angle is correct right down here. So I need to twist this slightly this direction. And because this has multiple holes here on this steering mechanism, just gonna have to rotate it by one hole each. So 
Let me take this out and then take this one out. And then we'll just twist this by one hole and that should be enough. Okay, so after, you know, some wrestling around with this cable, which routes down underneath the seat, here, and then up in the corner of this cabinet. This is where the excess cable, uh, steering cable goes as you turn the steering wheel. And uh, when you go from up top, you can see I've got this at just one angle uh, set of holes from the, the mounting point of this uh, steering mechanism. And uh, that routes the cables nicely on this side uh, side of the uh, center console here. So we've got plenty of space uh, to reach on the inside and do all of the electronic uh, switches and stuff, which is probably going to be next week or the week after. So next thing we need to get mounted uh, is the control box right here. And one of the things I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is right here's where the control cables exit the control box. I'm thinking I'm going to build a small curved piece of wood so that I can attach those cables and that people won't, you know, trip on the cables, control cables. And uh, it'll be able to attach them to that. So now get painted white just like the rest of the boat. So let's get the... Uh, the control box is fixed, and let me put you back in the stand. All right, there's our two control cables, one for the throttle and one for the shift lever. And yeah, like I said, these came from Japan. So we'll see if these are gonna work. All right, so I moved the control box and uh, <clears throat> reading the instructions that came with the control box. And it looks uh, fairly uh, simple. Just need to attach these things. And there's some small C-clips uh, to retain the cable on this thing here. So let me see if I can't figure this out. Both ends of these cables are the same. So it just says thread... 11 to 14 millimeters. And that looks like it's about 20 millimeters long. So somewhere in there is going to be the one to work in. Insert the outer groove of the shift remote control cable into the clamp groove 4 of the housing. Next, fit the cable N5 onto the pin. This one. So 
Schiffler throttle. So Next, fit the cable end five onto the pin of the shift arm. So, I said this was the shift arm. Fix the end with a circlet. This is the ground in this corner clear. Clear. All the way until contact the shift remote. Now, this is what I want to try and prevent. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I mean, I can route these underneath here, and uh, I can cut a hole right here and route those down inside the hole. Um, I think I want to have that piece of wood right here. I can uh, mount those, you know, make it so that these aren't going to get uh, messed with. And then any of the stuff running from the motor, power cables and stuff, can all run along this compartment right here. So, don't have that figured out 100% just yet, but this is the uh, position of that uh, throttle shift cable and I've got the uh, steering cable in place so um, yeah it's just a matter of figuring out once I get I need to finish the trailer so I can get the boat on the trailer and then get the motor on the back of the boat uh, so I can finalize the steering and uh, 
these the routing of the uh, shipment while we're here. So that's the rigging of the boat so far. Um, and we'll see where it goes. But I, I think I'm, tomorrow I'm going to work on the trip.